I'll just touch on, um, briefly on the other really important style of mineralization that we have on the property. And this is vein style mineralization. And this is what attracted the historical explorers back in the 20s, right through until about the 1950s. These are very high grade uh, quartz carbonate um, veins with upwards of 15% copper. They're very, um, they, we believe that they're going to be quite continuous, but the old timers, um, they didn't trace them that far along strike. They, they did some tunnels on them. These are short, maybe 30, 40, 50 meter long tunnels, some chip sampling. The grade seems to be quite consistent. And one of the veins, which is called Quart A, was actually tested by 17 very shallow drill holes in the 1950s. And this was able to trace that vein for about 340 meters. And it's completely open in all directions, a long strike and at depth. But you can look at some of the, the grades that they were getting, 2.13% uh, copper over six meters, 4.7% copper over 1.8, 9.6% copper over 2.7, et cetera, et cetera. The key point is they were only sampling the absolute highest grade um, mineralization in these drill holes. We have some of the drill logs. They're not very detailed, but you can see there's mention of calcopyrite, which is a copper bearing mineral, stringers and fractures surrounding these high grade samples and they were never ever sampled. So we believe we'd like to get in there and, and follow up with our own drill holes to see if there is a wider and probably a little bit lower grade, a wider, more continuous structure that we could generate some, some significant tons with uh, through a, a drill program. So that's one of our objectives. And the other key thing is there seems to be some interesting um, and at times very high grade gold associated with the, the uh, calcopyrite or the copper mineralization. And our surface samples show that anywhere between 0.1 and five grams per ton gold can be associated with this mineralization. So we might have a tiger by the tail on this, um, on this uh, vein zone mineralization here. So, you know, we have the VMS target, which we've talked about, or targets over 11 kilometers, plus this vein style mineralization, which is a, a completely different target area on the property.